can hold your fire. This is Lakshmi Bai, the leader of the rebellion. She is your confederate. Have you taken leave of your senses, man? I might ask the same question. If I didn't know you any better, I'd think you'd led me into a rebel ambush. As I might fear an arrest. We do not have time for this. We needed help, and she is the only one I could turn to. This is madness. You're putting the very core of our order in jeopardy. Alistair, you have to trust me. You asked that we find proof. She was with me in Blackwall. She witnessed what I found there. You mean to tell me that she helped you destroy the United India Company docks? My father was right. That was an act of pure terrorism. She used you. She brought this conspiracy to my attention. And if we're to see it through, her help is invaluable. And what if you're wrong? Then she and I will answer for our actions. And suffer the consequences. As Mallory did. I hope you're right, Gray. I would not want to see you on the wrong side of this mess. Neither would I, brother. There they are! Far end of the lobby! down. Reloading. Clear. Through here, across the courtyard balcony. Reloading! 
The archive's room is just ahead. Search the archives. Look for manifests, bills of lading, requisition orders. Anything that might link the company to the half-breed shipments. Waste of time, if you ask me.
Knight! Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Here, the Agamemnon shipment, destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It sets sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Believe me now, he is the one behind all this. The Whitechapel killings, the half-breed scourge, United India, all you. Jacob Van Neck, or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper, at your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured, and a traitor revealed, all in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair. How could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run!
Knight, this is Omar. We have confirmation of multiple intruders at the United India House. The Metropolitan Police has been ordered to remain on standby. The protection and safety of Lord Hastings is our primary concern. Apprehend any suspects with extreme caution. Stay where you are. Wait, I can I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, Monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's Knights. <laughs> <laughs> 